Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do all things baby and more. Today, I'm gonna be doing the last review of the Love Every Play Kits. Olivia's receiving her last box today. She will be 24 months next week. You excited? She's super excited, I can tell. Like, and I've seen the differences in her now that she's almost two years old. So today's review is gonna be a little bit different. You wanna sit here? You're so smart, God. So today's review is gonna be different because it's gonna be an unboxing. Olivia has not seen the toys yet. I kind of wanted to leave it to last because first we even haven't had time to play with it yet. A lot of things are going on around the house, which you guys will find out eventually soon. And we never had really time to sit down and play with the last box. So she's been playing with the previous box, which is my last video. She's liked that box, but we had to pack it away, rearrange toys. So she's going to be unboxing this toy. I wanna to see her first reaction on each and every single toy. And by the end of this review, I will let you guys know if we will continue with the subscription. You can continue with the subscription up to 36 months, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you can either pay up front like we did to get a discount, uh, or you can pay uh, box by box. The good thing about Love Every is that you can see which box has what. So if there's any box that you don't feel like mm, it's worth my money, you can skip it. So without further ado, let me get started. Let's go get the box. So this box is the, so this box is the companion box that goes from 22 months up to 24 months. Wow. The packaging is the same. Different picture for every box. So again, this box comes with a little manual on how to take care of each and every single item. The good thing about this little manual is that it has all the toys that it has included in the box. So this box has nine items. The first one being the guide. I love going through these guides because it tells you all the different milestones your baby needs to reach or should be reaching in between that time. It gives you ideas on how to play with each and every single toy. So again, the first pages will be baby and you. So they're checking out what you and baby and how you guys are doing. The second page or the next pages are um, how you can play with each and every single toy. So let me get started. Let me put the box aside. Look. Let's put this all the side. So this first toy is called the wooden posting stand. So it's this wood toy right here that comes with, I guess, these wooden sticks that she will have to basically insert in each hole and each hole is different sizes. So she will have to figure out what sizes go where. Look, mama. I swear to God, these are like baby proof or mommy proof, huh? There you go. One second, let me put it here. Okay. Wow, look at that. Good job. No, me, mommy. She thinks it's chalks. They're made out of wood, but they do look like chalk. Like she was trying to color the table with it. So they call this a 3D puzzle where your baby essentially is gonna have to figure out where each one belongs. So you will have smaller holes and bigger holes. Like right now, she does know that the bigger ones go in the bigger holes, but because the smaller or the thinner ones can go either in the big holes or the small holes, she's kind of putting it everywhere. But eventually she will figure out that not all of them fit into one case. So mira mamá, esto aquí y esto acá. Y esto aquí. Let's see. 
heart. So she figured out that the yellow is going to this box and all the green goes into one single box. Those are the things that make me happy whereabouts she can figure out things like that by, based on like the toys, like how she can group the same items together. Okay. ¿Dónde va el gato? ¿Dónde va el gato? Good job. ¿Dónde va la vaca? ¿Cómo hace la vaca? Good job. ¿Dónde va el monkey? ¿Cómo hace el monkey? Wow. So we used a lot of recognition based on the actual animal that she had versus the animal that she had printed. She was able to easily um, place each one where it belonged. And not only that, I did make her do the sounds of each animal so she can recognize it, not only by looking at the animal, but hearing the sound. So those are good ways on how to interact with the game, not only just doing how the game is supposed to, you can always add uh, whatever you think is necessary or it could be um, fun for the game. So this game is called the Buckle Barrel and it's to practice bil bilateral coordination. I hope I pronounced that right. So you see how I'm using both of my hands to unbuckle each and every single one. So this one is to practice coordination on how she will use both hands to buckle them and unbuckle them. I did have to hold it for her to buckle them. It's going to be easy for her to buckle because then the tricky part will be how to unbuckle because she will have to press and pull at the same time. I do see here the picture where she's in her car seat practicing and they have little buckles here. I'm assuming it's to buckle it from one side to the other so it doesn't move. But I can tell that this is going to be a great game for long car rides. Well, typically we always have one game from her of every toys that we keep in the car to keep her entertained. That way she doesn't get bored or when she gets fuzzy, she plays with them. So this will be the next game. So this game over here will basically teach your child on how to manipulate their fine motor skills. So the game is supposed to actually come here and she's supposed to place it color by color. Essentially, that is what she's doing, but she laid it flat on the table. I guess it would be easier for her to do. Olivia is very strong-minded. When she wants to do something her way, she has to do it her way or else she's not gonna play. So I'm just letting her do because she actually was placing it in the right colors. Now she just changed the pattern to different colors, one after the other. So the great thing about this toy is that she has to push each button down so it locks into place. And whenever she's not happy with the spot that she chose, she knows how to pull it back out. So you will have to press in the middle part at the bottom and pull it back out. She had started all red in the red line, yellow in the yellow line, but then she changed her pattern. 
the reason why I noticed that it's not gonna be so difficult for her to take heat buttons out is because she already pulled them out <laughs> to change, to reorder them to be color by color. I feel like this is a great game that will keep her entertained for a very long time. After she's done, we will try to practice the initial pattern that she had going on, which is one color per line. So this next game is a puzzle, which is actually intertwined with the other game that comes included in this box. So she's going to have to figure out how to put this puzzle together. So this game is called the Chunky Wooden G Jigsaw Puzzle. Oh my god, these are just gonna keep killing me. Please don't roast me on the comment section. So this is to show your child how to figure out puzzles, pull items apart and bring them back together, give them plenty of time to explore pieces. Right now she's figuring out how to put the three pieces together, but she has to figure out how to put that last part. So the last toy that was included in this box is called the Transfer Tweezers and False Stars. So actually, I don't know how she knows how to use tweezers. I swear to God, we don't give her tweezers, but she's actually doing it right now. Where she has to take each and every single star and put it in its correct format. Okay, she's been going to this academy where like they actually teach her how to do day-to-day -day things or how to put things into, I have no, like this, I'm impressed. This is my first time her playing with these items and I don't know how she's figuring out where each and every color goes. It's mind blowing me. My one, that's so good. So essentially the goal of this game was to put purple with purple. So the purple star with the purple puzzle. Yeah. See? With the purple puzzle, the orange with the orange puzzle, with the tweezers, which she has been doing. She has never seen these toys before, I promise. I'm just so confused how she's figured it out so quickly. So she has started going into an academy where they teach her, you know, day-to-day -day skills and how to recognize colors, patterns, group them together. So this, right now, as a first impression, I'm really, really impressed with the box. It's great, it's worth every single penny I, I paid for, really. Um, in terms of continuing our subscription, Olivia is turning two next week, which is April. So usually in the summertime, we do a lot more activities outside than inside the house. So we're either going for bike rides and going to the beach, things where she will play outside and just being inside. And also she has started going to the school where she ha has this type of activity. They do every single day different activities that will foster and like push them to think outside the box, think critically and how to, you know, solve puzzles, how to group everything together. So taking that into consideration, taking into consideration the summer's coming and we won't be really home during the weekend. We have decided to have this box as her last box and because the next three to four months we're gonna be out and about doing things. We will not be continuing with their subscription. 
In a summary, if I have been pleased with the boxes, yes. Not all of them, if you guys saw my recent video. The last box I received, I, I felt like some boxes, a lot of, some boxes, not all of them, had a lot of filler toys. For example, the puzzles. You know, she has so many puzzles now, wooden puzzles, because of the boxes she's been receiving. But I don't feel like it was really like, oh my God, it was worth my almost 200 bucks I paid per box, right? Um, but there are some toys like these ones and some other ones she got at the beginning that she still till this day, she's two years old and she still plays with it when I pull them out that I say, okay, that is definitely worth my money because it has taught her how to do specific tasks or how to think differently on how to solve problems or whatnot. So I do have, in a sense, a good perspective. Like if someone will tell me, do you recommend this box? Absolutely, if you're the kind of person who won't be buying toys, right? But will like to sort of follow a schedule on what different toys will come with her different stages in life to practice different things, how to teach her things. As you guys know, I'm a first time mom. I had no idea what the heck I was going to do. You know, like I've never been exposed to babies. I've always said this before. I've never really been exposed to babies and babies development. So I didn't really know how to. So when I came across this box, I can't remember who had it. I think it was my mom. She had sent me the play gym at the beginning. And I was like, you know, let me try the play gym. And I feel like that play gym made a, such a big difference. I know your book. So the play gym made a big difference when it became her time to start crawling and is into fine patterns at a very young age. And that already there set a good perspective of the brand itself. Then when we saw the play kits, we're like, you know what? It comes with a guide. It comes with different toys. Let's make the commitment of not buying any other toys outside of that to actually make her learn things, not to have a toy just to play with it and not really learn anything. So it this boxes do come with a hefty price tag attached to it, but if you really decide to get the boxes, I suggest do not buy any other toys. Every other toy she has in the house is because either her grandparents got it, my parents, like, or friends and family. Like, we personally, Friday and I, will did not buy her any toy unless it was something that we were like, oh my gosh, she's not gonna get this in her box. Like the bike from this other brand, I can't remember right now. But when I say if this is something, a route that you guys wanna take, by all means, make that commitment of not filling up your house with different toys where your baby's not really gonna learn anything and it's just making noise in the background. So, no, we will not continue with our subscription box. Maybe if I see another box within the 36 months that we wanna get, we would get it uh, separately, but we won't continue with the month to month um, subscription. As I mentioned, some of them feel like they were fillers, but then again, you know, they do have to make their money somehow, I guess, and they can't just give us extravagant toys at each and every single box. So this is the last book that is included in her play kit. It says Graham's Turns 2. Lavery, if you guys want to take some uh, advice, you guys would have killed it if you put the child's name on the book. I would have probably said I'm gonna subscribe for another 36 months. <laughs> um, it's just a story of the little boy who turns two, basically honoring the fact that Olivia will be turning two very, very soon. Especially Olivia likes these type of books that are made out of um, cardboard, I guess it is, because it's easier for her to turn the pages and there's a lot of color involved. So she can, you know, relate either when she paints or when kids play with balls and grass and all those types of things. Like these books I do enjoy. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Next video is gonna be a very special video because it's baby Olivia's birthday. I know, baby. You wanna say bye bye? You wanna say bye bye to the friends? Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. You wanna blow a kiss? Kiss. Thank you. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.